Hi, I'm Greg Johnson with Blue Book Services. I'm here today with Doug Grant, who is a VP at Oppenheimer, and he's also a board member at the Center for Produce Safety. Doug has been writing a monthly column to be sent out to the produce industry about food safety. And this month's column, he has a couple great examples from companies on how they're implementing some of the food safety that, that CPS is learning and doing all the research on. So I'd like to start by asking you, Doug, what do you think the most important part of this column is to get across to the reader? Well, Greg, the, uh, the most important thing is we need change in, our, in food safety in our industry. We can't just accept the status quo any longer. We have, we're plagued by these food safety outbreaks, and certainly that's just the tip of the iceberg. Is, you know, no doubt there's many other uh, unreported cases out there. So we really need, I think, the Center for Produce Safety research to find out the root of the problems and help us provide some practical solutions for our industry. So one example I highlighted in this last article is work done by uh, Dr. Shanna Rock from University of Arizona. Her team developed a really cool mobile app to help growers better understand their water quality. It's really a great tool to establish a microbial water quality profile. This is going to be required by FISM and Protosafety Safety down the, rule, down the road, and it's a, you know, it's a great uh, training tool. Another great example in this last article is an um, example I gave on uh, Dr. War uh, Martin Weedman from Cornell University on how hydrological landscape and weather data can predict surface quality water. So in, any, in most of these articles that I've written, I really try and highlight individuals and companies who are using CPS research to enhance their food safety. I had a great interview with uh, Sir Asta Costa of Lippman Family Farms. He puts a lot of focus on uh, water quality as it's a primary suspect in food safety outbreaks. It's really essential to, to understand the sources of water, whether it's coming from wells, canals, ponds, and the method of irrigation, whether it's drip, overhead, uh, spray, or, or furrow. It's critical to have a deep understanding of the factors that can change water quality, such as rain and flooding events and, and uh, things like animal intrusion. So for their farms on the East Coast, Lippman uses drip irrigation to avoid direct water contact on plants, and they treat the irrigation water. So two great things, and that's really going the extra mile with Lippman. Now I notice you're writing these monthly, and so you'll have another one next month. You know, in this series, kind of, what are you hoping that that the reader gets and the it can spur change in the industry? What's what's the goal? Yeah, so the goal is really, uh, you know, my goal is embracing a culture of food safety. You know, most of my articles, I mention that, and it starts at the uh, top executive level. You know, executives need to understand that their company's reputations at stake, at stake when, they, when they're imp implicated in outbreaks. So investments in food safety can help protect the company's brand, and that in turn protect, uh, protects consumer safety. Executives also need to ensure their food safety staff have the resources and tools they need and that they keep up with the latest research developments, but really there's a desperate need for food safety training across the industry. This includes the seasonal farm workers, the packhouse workers, retail food service outlets, uh, and, and really anyone in our, in our industry that visits these locations should really have enough understanding of food safety to point out any issues if something's not right. And it's really gonna take all of us to move the dial forward on food safety improvements. Okay, Doug. Well, I, I appreciate you speaking with me today. I'm looking forward to working more with CPS on these columns and, and getting more people in the industry involved in the improving the culture of food safety in their companies. Great. Thanks very much. Good to, right. good to hear from you.